The Chicago Bears add to the receiving room as they sign Equinamia St. Brown from the Green Bay Packers. What's going on guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears free agency update video. If you guys want more of these, definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be reacting to every single signing the Bears make uh, in the next few weeks. And we finally added a wide receiver. And no, it's not a notable one. No, it's not one that I think is going to play much in Chicago. But it is a depth signing that, who knows, maybe it turns into something more if we get lucky. If you guys remember in my mock offseason that I released, you know, about a month ago, I actually had the Chicago Bears signing Equinamia Sam Brown to a cheap one year deal. I thought that the connection with Luke Getzi would play into the signing, and I guess I was right, guys, because I'm pretty sure that Luke Getzi was the one that wanted Equinamia Sam Brown here in Chicago. He already has experience working with him um, in Green Bay in that system, so Sam Brown already knows the system pretty well, so it's, I mean, it's a good fit in that regard. Obviously, Sam Brown has not played that much, though during his time in Green Bay, okay? He's been there for, you know, about the last four years. He was a sixth-round pick in 2018. If I read you guys his stat line right now, so in 2018, he had 328 receiving yards on 21 receptions. 2020, he had 117 receiving yards on seven receptions. Then 2021, last year, he had 98 receiving yards on nine receptions. And you guys see in 2019, he actually had an injury that caused him to miss the season. So overall, guys, he hasn't really done that much with the Green Bay Packers, which yes, that is concerning, okay? If you're on the Green Bay Packers, if you're a wide receiver, you usually get the chance to shine, guys. Like even the lower level receivers there in Green Bay, they usually put up a decent amount of yards just because Aaron Rodgers is the one throwing the ball to them. So the fact that he hasn't really gotten much playing time in Green Bay, yes, it's a cause for concern. Yes, I don't think this guy is gonna be a big factor in Chicago, most likely, but that's pretty much what he is, guys. He's a depth signing. This is what depth signings look like, okay? It's probably gonna be a cheap, one year deal if I had to guess the contract details aren't out yet but I've, I'm guessing it's probably going to be like one year you know one million dollars something like that anything more in my opinion would be an overpay because he hasn't done that much with the Green Bay Packers but we need to add more wide receivers to the receiving core right because before this we only had you know Darnell Mooney and Daz Newsome in our receiving core you can't feel the receiving core with only two people on it so I saw people on Twitter kind of freaking out about this move, saying that, oh, Equinamia Sam Brown, he obviously hasn't done much in Green Bay. Is Poles crazy? Is he signing him to be our number one receiver? No, he is not, guys. Okay, take a chill pill. More moves at the receiver position, I guarantee, are coming, okay? In the draft, maybe still in free agency. There's still a lot of stuff we can do to, you know, upgrade this receiving core. But adding a guy in Equinamia Sam Brown to a depth position, I don't think that's a bad move at all, guys. It's not necessarily a good move because he hasn't done that much ever in his career but I feel like it's one of those moves where you're just trying to give a crazy athletic guy one more opportunity okay this guy is crazy crazy athletic if you look at his size and his physicality and his 40 yard dash so he's six foot five you know has a big build on him he ran a 4.48 40 yard dash so the measurables are pretty damn good guys okay he played at Notre Dame had a decent career at Notre Dame it hasn't taken off much in the NFL so far but if you just look at him as an athlete there's a lot to like okay obviously Playing football is much more than just being an athlete. You have to be smart, you know, when it comes to football. You have to know how to run routes. You have to control your body in ways. So there's a lot more to being a good football player than just being athletic. But why not give a chance to this guy, okay? I don't think it's going to matter long term because I don't see this guy getting much playing time in Chicago if, he, if he's even on the roster by the time the season starts. But it can't hurt to give him a one-year cheap deal and see what he has left in the tank okay like I mentioned he already has experience working with Luke Getzey I'm pretty sure Luke Getzey is the guy that got him to Chicago maybe he wanted to see more of Equinemia St. Brown in the Green Bay offense right because obviously Luke Getzey didn't have too much authority there in Green Bay he was you know a little bit further down on the totem pole you know Matt LaFleur was above him uh, Nathaniel Hackett was above him as well so maybe he saw something in him that we don't um but like I'm, I'm pretty much saying in this video, guys, don't expect too much out of this signing. I don't think he's going to be a long-term starter on this team. I don't even know if he's going to make the roster when the season starts. But why not, guys? Okay, so let me know your thoughts about this signing down below in the comments. But as always, bear down.